What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hawes Capital video. So we're going to start back up on our Luna video series. Once again, we've already started some of it. Uh, you can use the hashtag Luna Terra and you'll be able to find all the different projects we've already talked about in the room. Uh, what I want to do, guys, in this one is just cover some updates and things that are really going on for 2022 as far as new projects that we should be looking forward to. Uh, follow up on airdrop season and future airdrops we can continue to keep expecting. Uh, from Luna. Uh, but before we go into all this, it's going to be a whole video series. I'm um, going to show you guys a lot of different things that we can do, new projects to farm in, uh, new opportunities to earn in Luna. Uh, but I want to make sure we cover it in a few steps. So this first video, we're going to strictly cover bridges that allow you to bridge money to and from the Luna network. Uh, because when we jump into the videos, I'm going to assume you already know how to get money um, onto these different networks. All right. Because uh, again, as I explained to you guys, uh, Terra is really starting to become, um, well, it's always been a big deal, but it's really starting to show uh, how big of a deal it is uh, with the use case of the UST um, and their Terra Luna uh, token that's being accepted across multiple blockchains. Uh, we saw the acceptance of IBC and Cosmos. That was huge alone as it was, but uh, there are multiple farming opportunities that exist all over uh, the crypto space involving UST and Terra Luna. So I wanted to show you guys how to make sure you can bridge to and from and take advantage of all those opportunities. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Uh, I've so far shown you guys how to bridge um, to multiple networks. I've shown you how to send Luna and UST from um, to Harmony, uh, to Aurora, uh, to Matic, um, to multiple different networks, guys, that we need to use. So the back and forth to the Kepler wallets, how to use IBC and Terra Station. Uh, I've done all those videos with you. We're going to knock out a two for one. I've never shown you guys how to actually uh, get UST over to Moonbeam, which is Glimmer, uh, one of the Polkadot parachains that recently went live and is offering some DeFi for us. So we're going to get a two for one. I'm going to show you guys how to send some UST to Moonbeam. And I'm going to show you guys the uh, Alexer uh, website that's available so you guys can use their satellite and you can transfer tokens uh, wherever you need them to go. All right, guys, uh, I've already used it. Very simple, very easy. Uh, what you're going to need is a Kepler wallet and a MetaMask wallet to do this transfer. All right. And basically, it's a $15 minimum if you're going to do the transfer, guys. And we're going to transfer UST. Uh, I'm going to do some, you know, some farming with Moonbeam and UST because they got some pretty decent rates right now. Uh, you can just go ahead and connect your MetaMask. It'll automatically plug the the wallet address in for you and of course be aware that it is in beta mode guys it says it up here beta mode it pops up again as soon as you connect your wallet beta mode that means there are risks involved so please be careful maybe connect it with a wallet like i am a metamask that's not connected to anything else that way you can't compromise any other tokens in that wallet all right so what you're gonna have to do in the way that um uh, am I pronouncing this right? I think I pronounced it. Axelar, Axelar works. The way Axelar, Axelar, that's what it is. The way Axelar works <laughs> is it's um, connected to Kepler only right now. You cannot connect it to Terra Station. However, it's going to do an IBC transfer for you. So what's going? if you have um, Luna or UST on your Terra uh, Kepler wallet, it will automatically do the IBC transfer from Luna and Kepler to Axelar in the Kepler wallet. And then from Axler and Kepler, it's gonna send it to MetaMask for you. But what this does is it just takes, um, it takes charge for you and it does the IBC transfer. That way you don't have to do it. So if you actually wanna use Axler um, to get funds all the way through, one roundabout way you can do it is if you have the funds starting off in your Terra station, um, transfer the funds that you want to your Kepler in the in the terror uh wallet that's in kepler from there you can come directly to axelar and uh you can do the transfer and it will initiate for you guys all right so with that said let's jump right into it 
We'll do the transfer. Once you do the transfer, it is going to ask you to sign and verify this one time pin. Um, so just be aware that does pop up. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, probably less than five minutes. It tells you to wait five minutes. It should take a little bit less than five minutes uh, for the transaction to take place. But I've taken screenshots already of what the final steps look like, just so you can see. Um, and I'm going to walk you through all the rest. So it's generating the address for us. Now we need to connect my Kepler wallet. So now that my Kepler wallet, while it's connected it recognizes that i have 80 dollars of ust on the Terra blockchain i want to go ahead and transfer that over we'll leave ten dollars over there just for the the sake of it right now so we're going to leave uh ten dollars of ust over there and i'm going to go ahead and do my deposit what's happening now is it's going to send it from luna to axelar and we're going to approve that so that ibc transfer is taking place once the transfer reaches the Axelar black blockchain, it's going to go ahead and just initiate it and send it to Moonbeam and then you'll be completed. This part is what takes a little bit time and a while to go through, but I have the screenshots right here of what it looks like. This is a $20 transaction that I did uh, the other day just as a test to make sure everything was working. Um, $20 went through, uh, and then at the final step of the transaction, it was done and I could go ahead and click here and it would verify it on the Moonbeam block scanner for me. So that way I was able to do that. So that's still processing. So while that's processing, I just wanna make sure you guys are aware of all the other bridges that exist if you need to get friends, funds to and from, all right? So I mentioned to you a while ago that if you need to send funds uh, you know, to and from uh, Luna to Osmosis or Luna to uh, Harmony and different ones, I've done those already for you. I've done a video showing you how to send money to Harmony because I've got Harmony in um, Tranquil Finance, uh, UST in Tranquil Finance. I've shown you how to bridge money from UST into osmosis we've covered that bsc is the same exact way uh and the bridge terra bridge is a good one for that one all bridge is another bridge that i've used that's really good i use this one specifically um mostly for like aurora and near so if you're trying to bridge funds into aurora i would definitely recommend um all bridge it's the bridge that i've used fees are fairly low and it's extremely quick uh and then of course you've got a uh, portal bridge this used to be called wormhole and it had the massive hack and they try to pull a facebook and then do a whole little name change but we're gonna let them live uh but this is another one in which i showed you guys how i moved uh some us uh, and some Luna from the Terra station into the Matic network. So again, you can come over here uh, and you can move your Luna and I've moved it into Luna. I moved it into Matic. You can do Avalanche um, and different tokens as well as far as that. All right. So just a couple of one, uh, a couple of these different uh, bridges that you can use for Terra, because again, going forward in the video series, guys, I'm going to assume you know how to get your funds to and from the different farms I'm going to be showing you. All right. Uh, as we can see, still processing our transaction. It charged us, what, seven cents? Not bad. Um, pretty simple. But it should be finished soon. I'm not going to wait for the video uh, to just get dragged out while we wait for that. You guys should get the gist of it. Uh, pretty much once that's completed, it will show up in the Moonbeam for me. Uh, once it's in Moonbeam, let's just verify. Just wanted to see if it finished. Nope, still not finished. Once it's in Moonbeam, you can actually go to the Moonbeam um, block scanner. You know, uh, the little three dots. Let me go ahead and just show you guys exactly what it looks like. So let me go back so I can show you what it looks like. All right. Transactions completed. We'll go here and let's say we go into our wallet, but we do not see our UST. So as you can see, I've got 20% uh, of a glimmer, but no UST. You can come over here to the block scanner. And if you go view block scanner, uh, it'll show you all the, the, the tokens that are in your account. So you can see there goes the UST uh, wrapped. And then here goes the address that I need to add to MetaMask. So you can just copy this address right here. Uh, and you can go to import tokens, paste that, and then add, confirm, and there you go. There goes our UST sitting in there and waiting on us, right? So very easy. Now you guys have all the aspects of bridging uh, tokens to and from the Luna network. So now we can jump into the farming, the fun stuff, and the making the money. Hope that video was helpful, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.